Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. In July 2019, TV3 Mission first broadcast the news item on talented Jonah Mauno Anashuga, who was in dire need of support to undergo medical care. Eight months after the report, Jonah underwent surgery at the Focus Orthopedic Hospital in Pantan and is recuperating. There's more in this report. When TV3 Mission first met Jonah, he was writing his end of term exams at the Suswahu RC Basic School at Jayan Kwanta in the Afu region. Despite his disability, which prevented him from using his hands effectively, he topped his class and drew perfectly. Four months after the report, the Focus Orthopedic Hospital at Pantan, together with some philanthropists, came to his aid. On Thursday, October 31, Jonah went through his first surgery. A few months ago, TV3 Mission brought to you a news item on Jonah while well, today he's undergoing surgery at the Focus Orthopedic Hospital and he's hopeful that his quality of life will improve after the surgery. Professor Oheniba Boacheje is the president and founder of the Foundation of Orthopedics and Complex Spine Focus. Our mission basically is to help people regain their ability to function. Uh, so as a non-profit organization we depend heavily on philanthropic support donors from Ghana and from the uh, outside the country. And uh, Jonah basically is one of those patients who is, on, is not going to be able to afford the multiple surgeries that is required to improve his condition. So he falls uh, basically under our mission of compassion. If we say we're doing the surgery for free, it that basically means that somebody is helping us provide him free care. He gets it for free. Six months after his first surgery, TV3 Mission returned to the hospital to monitor his progress. He was grateful to TV3 Mission and the team of doctors and philanthropists who helped him. After surgery, I'm able to walk well more than before surgery. And before surgery, I used to feel pain whilst I'm sitting or even whilst I'm still using the crutches, I used to feel pain. But for now, everything is fine. I used to walk. I can even walk without the crutches. But as you can see at the first, it's difficult. And I know that when I go back, I will be able to do more things than before surgery. I would like to tell TV3 that I thank them very well. May God help them. May God provide them what they need so that they can use that to help the others, those who are just like me. Jonah was brought here and was diagnosed of antrogriposis, which is basically a fracture or congenital contracture in the joints in several parts of the body. Um, he needed a series of um, yeah, surgeries or operations to make him fully stabilized. This one is the first one he's done. It actually took quite a long time to heal. And so he's looking very better now. So we hope that as much as he heals faster, we can continue with other series. A number of people have come to support this course, which needs a lot of funding. Uh, among them is the Mr. Roland Kosa, who is our board member. He came with, together with a group of sisters, and then they came to support. Then there's this school, Mother Nest School. They also came to support uh, Jonah's course after hearing from TV3 and other platforms that Jonah needs. His father was also grateful to TV3 Mission. Jonah will now have to recover and undergo further treatment at the hospital. TV3 Mission will certainly follow up on its progress. Porsche Gabor, TV3 News, Accra.